New concerns tonight over red tide and its potential impacts. You can see from this FWC map that the blooms are moving north. We are seeing low to high concentrations. The red dots that you see there, uh, right there at the mouth of Tampa Bay and more offshore in Sarasota County. Now, health officials are warning people to stay out of the water. But as 10 Tampa Bay's Aduria Chumba tells us, she spent the day in Siesta Key where lots of people still hit the beach and business owners are keeping an eye on the conditions. As a toxic red tide bloom continues moving northward toward Tampa Bay, some local business owners here in Sarasota say even though it's getting in the way of activities on the water, it's not affecting their bottom line yet. We've really had no cancellations due to that. I'm full at 100% capacity today. The National Centers for Coastal Ocean Science is advising that some beaches could experience a moderate to high risk of respiratory irritation over the next 36 hours hours. Despite that, beachgoers still pack Siesta Key in Sarasota County. Um, there's a lot of people that are here on vacation, so they only have one thing on mind, and that's to shop and go to the beach. So I feel like they're going to do that regardless because they spent the money to come here. Samples from health officials detected Karenia brevis, the organism that causes red tide, is still present in Manatee, Pinellas, and Sarasota counties. If I was to directly go swimming right now, I would probably experience something. While there are concerns about frequent events of red tide blooms impacting the coastal waters. It's too early right now to speculate what the impact of red tide is going to be on the tourism industry. Erin Duggan with Visit Sarasota says many accommodations are also at high capacity because of Hurricane Ian. And because red tide is heavily influenced by the wind, they advise visitors to get information about beach conditions at visitbeaches.org. So while we might be seeing uh, some red tide conditions on one beach, it doesn't necessarily mean that every beach is being impacted. So that is a huge tool that we use when communicating to visitors. Our main business is tourism and we need to have people come back and want to come back and not worry about red tide. So we need to get a handle on it. In Sarasota County, Aduria Chumba, 10 Tampa Bay.